good morning staff and good morning parents. A shout out to our fifth grade. I have my shirt unpacked guys. So our class of 2020 fifth graders, I want to say hello to you guys. I hope you have your shirts on and enjoy your Wednesday. It is Wednesday, April 29th and our habit for today is having a plan. So like our fifth graders have had a plan beginning with the end in mind, um, I don't know if they were really thinking the end of fifth grade when they came in in kindergarten. But boys and girls, that is certainly beginning with the end in mind. You come in, you do your work, you put first things first, you work really hard. The end in mind is completing your elementary chapter of school then moving on to middle school and on to high school and then on to college. So the end in mind ultimately is graduating from college with a degree and doing something that you love to do. Having a plan for that is far out, but some people have smaller ends in mind where their ultimate end in mind is that after college stage. So begin with the end in mind. Show us something that you uh, may be doing around the house. Maybe it's something that you're building and the end in mind is for it to look like this and then you start to work on it. Um, it could be a project, something that you're building, something you're creating, maybe it's something that you're painting, um, any kind of craft, maybe it's something that you're drawing. But I know right now when we're thinking about school, the end in mind is to be successful and move on to your next grade level and then on to the next um, secondary and then on to college. So boys and girls, um, we appreciate all of your hard work. You guys have certainly had a plan. You're putting your work first. We're getting those assignments back in and I just want to tell you how much we appreciate that. I know how hard that is. Working from home can be a little bit difficult. Uh, Mrs. Bailey, not only am I principal and trying to keep up with my work from here, I'm also working with my girls right now and I'm teaching my third grader and my kindergartner. Um, we're also unpacking still and settling into a house. So there's a lot of work to be done, but I have a plan every day. I begin with the end in mind, thinking about what do I want to accomplish by the end of today? And I set forth and I work through that plan. Plan. And at the end of the day, if I didn't hit my mark, at least I got somewhere close to it because I had that plan. So we look forward to seeing all of your plans and sharing in this with you guys as we model this habit on having a plan and beginning with the end in mind. So again, hi fifth grade, hi to all of our boys and girls. We look forward to celebrating you as we wrap up this school year for you guys and all of the memories in elementary school. So we will be having more information coming out about that to our fifth graders. And I know your fifth grade teachers sure are missing you guys. To all of our boys and girls, we still miss you. We look forward to seeing those pictures and videos. It warms our heart, it makes us smile. So keep those coming and I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. Thank you, Mrs. Bailey. Good morning, students. Good morning, parents, and good morning to our staff. It is Wednesday, and it is also Spirit Day Wednesday for our fifth graders. So it is their day that we would wear these on campus each day. So I love to wear these on announcements on Wednesday morning just to let you guys know that I am still thinking of you um, as we are you know, far apart as you are finishing out this fifth grade year through your distance learning. So just know that I am honoring you through this spirit day. Um, but it is also our spirit week for the seven habits. And today we are focusing on have a plan. So I think this is a funny habit to think about right now. Have a plan. Um, you know, we all started out with a plan at the beginning of this school year and plans have changed. You know, we have gone into distance learning this year, but I think it's to show that all plans are adaptable and you are able to make a new plan when things don't go quite the way you thought on your first route. So if you are thinking about making a plan, maybe at the beginning of each week for your distance learning and how you are going to execute that plan through the week so that you can have some play time at the end of the week, we would love for you to share your plans with us and what they look like. So whether that's at eight to nine o'clock, I'm going to eat breakfast and pick up my room before I get started on my distance learning. And then from 12 to 12.30, I'm gonna eat my lunch. You know, any plans that you come up with throughout the day, we would love to see what you guys have. And 
there's short-term plans like a daily plan there's long-term plans like a month out and then there's what do I want to be doing from a year from now so there's all sorts of plans that we can make and we would love for you guys if you're working on any plans to share them with us so what are you thinking about making a plan for at home um, tomorrow we jump into our fourth day of spirit week and we will see you then so I hope you guys have an awesome Wednesday and don't forget that tomorrow is also another day of zooming with our therapy dog Prince so get ready we will share um, that code on social media like we did previously as well as the link and we hope to see you guys all there have a great day bye good morning today is Wednesday April 29th the weather is cloudy with thunderstorms with a high of 80 and a low of 59. Will you please stand for the pledges and the moment of mission statement and re remain standing for the moment of silence. States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Hi, my name's Willie and I'm in first grade and I'm also in Miss Mendoza's class. And I'm going to read you the mission statement. We, the Tigers, will be inspired to lead, honor, and excel today. Number one, did you know that dolphins have names for each other? Like humans do, the exact same way. It's pretty interesting when you think about it. Number two, did you know that if you live in Australia, you could go to a new beach every single day for 27 years? That's pretty crazy. And um, number three, did you know that there's a fish in Hawaii that can climb up a waterfall while the water's going down? It's weird. 
Number four, did you know that the 100 folds in a chef's hat represent the 100 ways you can cook an egg? That's pretty wacky, and that's the four facts for Wacky Fact Wednesday, and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye! Hey guys, hope y'all are doing well. Here's a fun golf fact for you. Did you know that the first golf balls were made entirely of hard wood? They were in use from the 14th century until the 17th century. Of course, a typical wooden golf ball would only last for a few games until they needed to replace it. Hello, my name is Bella Garza and I'm from Ms. Drake's second grade class. Hello, my name is Nathan Garza and I'm from Ms. Drake's fifth grade class. Happy birthday to Ava Martinez from Ms. Corey's kindergarten class. Happy birthday to Ellison Spurlock from Ms. Ferguson's surgery class and there's no teacher birthdays. Oh,